Did something happen in this house to attract you here? She got all the way across the front room. Really? That was weird. Did you see it? She was yelling, get it off me, get it off me. Uh, she lifted up her shirt in the back and there was just a huge scratch. Brought in, something was brought in. Take a mess with your head. Do not want demonic spirits, you do not want negative spirits. I'd like to hear from the spirit, the person who scratched the individual in this house. I photographed the skull and measured the key points so that uh, I'm going to uh, make a replica of his skull and um, then I will do a reconstruction. The founder of our museum was Julia Meek Gar. In 1930 she uh, founded this museum and she was a world traveler. We know she was overseas at least seven times prior to 1929 which is very early for traveling. And uh, uh, she went to Egypt and ended up buying a, uh, a mummy. Our basic procedure is to um, go into an area we believe may be actively haunted. Writing down some notes for our uh, investigation so that way we can go back when we do our evidence review and compare it to the notes that we have to see if there's any significant correlation. We always take notes in every location that we go to. Well, I come in a lot of times late at night to do the floors or early in the morning. I hear some noises that uh, represents nothing that you heard before. And to begin our session with uh, basically a time, date, stamp, location where we're at and ask a series of questions regarding who they might be, where they're from, maybe how they died, a little bit about their lives. What a lot of people don't realize is the, the Egyptian culture mummified people for 4,000 years. The ours would date, uh, uh, a post date to uh, Tutankhamun. Well, you see here, look over here. This is where the canine tooth is, okay? Mm -hmm. Now, this is where the canine tooth should have been, right here. But look how, see, it's, it's like it's been ripped out. Oh, I see. But yet the bone isn't really, isn't broken, so it had to have been done when he, you know, at some other time before. So it had been done when he was alive then? No, but it would have evidently was done during the modification. I don't, I don't know.